Walking out in some snow. So here's the situation. I'm having an operation this morning. A procedure, whatever. You know she's gonna correct everything I think. To get a heart ablation, which will fix my atrial flutter, which will then enable me to have my surgeries. Right, babe? I got it right. I, I said it right, I think. Yeah. She's gonna go get fixed. It's gonna be a big old, uh, well, I, mean, I don't know. It's, a, it's long. They're gonna knock me off for a few hours. Also, I find it interesting that so many church people say bless your heart all the time until you have an actual heart problem all the bless your heart stop look who got the comeback <laughs> I take my picture she made it back here to the inner sanctum oh, it looks like know. restrictions are being lifted she's so happy right now three hours later all right everyone coming back to now <clears throat> I think everything went okay. I think, I think they fixed my heart flutter. So I'm no longer fluttering. Flutter is in the past. I once was fluttered, but now I'm found in regular rhythm. So yeah, I, now look, they gave my little cup right here. I can drink it, like a hamster. Like, wait, hold on. All right, we're getting ready to roll out. I've been armed with a heart monitor. Zio, Zio, either way, tomato, tomato. It's my biofeedback machine. Oh, okay. What is that, like a video game? Feeling good. The way they do that uh, ablation is they like go up through your groin. So the old groin's a little tender. Hey. Oh, go all the humanity! All right, we are leaving U of M Hospital now. My lovely. It's pretty crazy what they can do and how they can access your heart and stuff. Uh, but in terms of pain, I'm not on any pain meds or anything, but I, uh, but it's not like pain. I walked out of the hospital. I didn't have a wheelchair or anything. I was able to get into the car unassisted and all that stuff. So. Several days later. All right, so a little update. We're like 10 days since my ablation. Uh, so a little, little health update for those of you who have been following my journey here. Uh, but then also for some of you who maybe are having an ablation coming up and you're like searching the internet for what to expect, like I did. Um, <laughs> this is kind of for you too. Like this, you know, here's how it's gone down the last 10 days. So you can know what to expect, at least from my experience. I'm feeling great now. Uh, the wonderful news is we talked to my doctor and um, the, everything went to plan. So I have I have an Apple Watch, uh, not on me. And I've not registered for AFib at all, a flutter at all. I've been sinus rhythm steady as she goes. So I think guys, third time is gonna be the charm for my Chiari surgery. Uh, if you're new to the ride here, I'm having Chiari surgery on March 22nd. That's why I had to have the AFib because my heart was freaking out the anesthesiologist who didn't want to knock me out. Tracing back, I would say I uh, was sore for a solid three days. You know, so it's down in your groin. I got three little kids. And so you're definitely got your head on a swivel for like three days, <laughs> making sure nobody hits you um, down there. Uh, well, I mean, it never feels good in general to get hit down there, uh, but more so. Um, <clears throat> but if you're having an ablation and, and, and came across this video just by searching the web uh, and got any other questions that maybe I didn't hit, um, I'll answer anything. I'll, I'll, I'll hit you back. I'll let you know what to expect. Uh, I'll keep you up to date. March uh, 22nd looks like it's go time. And that's going to be a much more intense surgery and a much more intense recovery. I think that's it. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. And, um, yeah. Bye. Ooh, that's a dang.